Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Twice. Yeah. Twice. Oh, yeah. But not for a long time. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you see uh, Berlin now? Did you? No, I just arrived two days ago. Yes. And, oh. uh, yesterday I slept all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jet lag. <laughs> Sehr glücklich, dass Ken Hyman aus New York gekommen ist, um diese wunderbaren Bilder hier zu zeigen. Es ist ja nur eine kleine Facette aus seinem Werk. Er hat ja 60 Länder der Welt bereist und hat im Grunde als Fotojournalist auch für Magnum und für große Magazine gearbeitet, für Time Life und so weiter. Aber ich habe mich halt konzentriert auf die frühen Sachen von der Pop-Art, weil ich einfach das spannend finde, wie diese heute weltberühmten Künstler damals, als sie noch ganz jung waren, äh, ausgesehen haben und wie das überhaupt war. Und ich bin, we are so happy, I'm so happy that you are here. I'm so happy you invited me. And uh, it is a great pleasure to have you and Judy. His wife is here and it is wonderful. And we are so glad that we could Uh, bring together this, this collection of, of prints and they are all vintage old prints, yeah, it's amazing, yeah, and um, yeah, how it comes that you come so close to these artists? Well, I met Andy Warhol before this and I met him at a dinner party and the next day the, uh, the hostess said, uh, can you help this, this poor uh, starving artist, Andy Warhol? <laughs> and uh, he, he came over to my house and I said, how can I help? He said, well, I could paint a room. And he painted my bathroom. He said, I'd, I'd like $500. I said, no, I'll give you $300. We said, $400. He painted my bathroom. <laughs> and and uh, years later, After I had published about three or four, I used to, I started working for Life Magazine. Uh, I did 160 assignments for Life Magazine over the years. Uh, and years later, uh, uh, I got a phone call. A publisher said, would you do a book on, the first book on pop art? And these pictures are from this book on pop art, which he, it's around here. And, uh, so I called Andy Warhol since I knew him, and I said, we're going to do a chapter uh, uh, on you. He said, oh, wonderful. And uh, <laughs> he, he, uh, he sa I said, where should we start? Well, let's go to Lutece. And Lutece in New York is the most expensive restaurant. And I said, I have $300 for the whole budget. <laughs> oh, all right. How about if I go to 42nd Street and I could get lost in the crowd? I said, no, Andy, that's not a good idea. <laughs> well, how about coming to my, uh, uh, where I work, and sit in, I can sit in my silver throne. And the pictures here of him sitting on the toilet that he painted silver. And, and uh, so when I work with, with somebody, like I've done, I've, done, uh, I've done more photography books than I believe anybody alive. I've done 41 photography books. And, an, and another four or five I'm trying to get published. And uh, Andy Warhol was the best subject. I've done over a hundred celebrities, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor, Charlie Chaplin, Leonard Bernstein, all, many people. And, and Andy Warhol was the best photographer, the best uh, subject, because he knew how to put himself in, in a composition. He liked the game of saying, well, how about if I sit over here? And so you see some of those pictures. Uh, we had a good time. 
but I spent three days with each artist. And the first first day I worked with an artist, they uh, uh, I, I sort of am quiet and see how they work or how they move around. And the second day I worked very hard, and the third day I finish what I'm missing. <laughs> and how was it with Roy? <laughs> and what? Roy, with Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein, he, he was the nicest man, and uh, he wanted. He said, "Well, I'm. I didn't know he was uh, separating from his wife. I think at the time, he said, would you mind if I bring my boys along?' And uh, then there's there's a picture here here." where he's showing Mickey Mouse thing. That's, that's uh, a very interesting picture because he said, this is the way I started pop art. He said, I said to, uh, Roy Lincoln said to his boy, why do you like the comic books better than daddy's art? <laughs> and uh, they didn't know and he said, so he said, I'll show you, I'll make a, my own comic book. And that was the start of his whole series of, of, of uh, he, he liked that pointillistic with the dots, that's what, what he did, and and, uh, and some of them uh, over here, uh, Rosenquist, he, uh, after three days, he got mad, he said, nobody can interpret my art because it's, it's in my, my head, and I interpreted one of his paintings, and he says, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I finished, so some of them, you know, uh, and, and working with art, uh, it's one of my favorite subjects is art, I've photographed quite a few artists, and uh, it's best when they move around, when they sit in one canvas all day, you, you, you can't do much, but like, uh, uh, when they move around and work, th then it makes it easier to take pictures. That's true. So tomorrow night I'm giving a, a talk next door, Yeah. and I'll, I'll be able to answer any questions and that sort of thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, with him, and I think without her, it would be much harder. Eh? Yes. <laughs> okay. Wir sind gestern angekommen aus New York und er hatte leider im Moment ist er hat ein bisschen er hat ein bisschen Rücken ziemlich viel Rücken und darum eine lange Reise und für diese dieses Event heute schön dass ihr da seid ist ja extra hergekommen sie sind sehr aufgeregt sie sind sechs Tage in Berlin und es wäre ganz toll wenn ihr also morgen äh, ihm die Ehre geben würdet und uns äh, um 18 Uhr in dem super bequemen Raum neben anzusitzen und auf einer riesen Leinwand zu seine Bilder zu sehen die er zeigt und erzählt noch mehr von diesen fantastischen Geschichten nicht nur von Andy Warhol sondern von Celebrities aller aller Couleur und auch noch was er sonst mit Margaret Mead und so weiter erlebt hat da kann er gar nicht mehr auf so you stay nearby I stay in his home. Ah, in his home. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And he's such a good host.
meet somebody? Yeah. I, I just want to tell you, you see the man with the white lips camera? Uh, years ago, I uh, went to the factory in Japan. They never had a, a, an American come to the factory. They were so excited. Uh, this kind of camera. It, yeah. You've been friends with Norbert for a long time? You've been friends with Norbert for a long time? Yes, he, um... He discovered you? Wonderful photographer. Oh, look at yours. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, folks. <laughs> Two old timers. <laughs> Do you, do you call it paparazzi? This is very good. Mm -hmm.